Welcome to our devos this week where we have been exploring the exciting topic of angels. A lot of discussion about angels and I think churches either really emphasize what angels and demons do and churches really underemphasize. And I, I have a tendency to think that sometimes our church doesn't talk about the spiritual realm enough, but there's this whole other spiritual realm that's going on around us. And I think it's really, really important for us to be aware of it because it causes us to appreciate God more and to focus on more on his sovereignty and his providence in our lives. But today I want to bring us to a point that is very, very important concerning angels, and it's this, that angels are mostly unseen. Angels are mostly unseen. They tend to operate without receiving credit. Now, I shared a story earlier this week about my what I believe to be an encounter that I had with an angel. Um, and I think a lot of people have those stories where they think this person had to be an angel, this person. But I want to give you the general rule of thumb based on what we see in the scriptures is that angels operate mostly without us knowing it. And it's for good reason. I think that if you read a lot about angels, and I'm just going to be upfront, there's a lot of books that are written about angels and demons, and a lot of it is just it's kind of weird, and some of it is nonsensical, and some of it is kind of contrary to what we see in the scriptures in terms of what God tells us that angels do. So the thing that you can pull from this is what Paul or what um, the writer of Hebrews says um, concerning angels. He says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2, he says, Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. He says that for the most part, you should be showing hospitality to everyone because you could be entertaining, you could be ministering to, you could be interacting with an angel and you just don't know it. Isn't that cool? But the angel's not gonna be like, oh yeah, like if you're working in customer service right now and you know you are mad one day and you're screaming at somebody because you're angry at something that happened or whatever. And that person's not going to go, hey, by the way, dude, uh, you were just really nasty to me because you lost your temper because your job is bad and I'm an angel. So that stinks for you. That's going against you in your book there for God. And that's not, no, I don't think that angels operate where most of the time we know that they're angels. And we see in the scriptures that most of the time we don't. In the scriptures, the rare occasions where it's revealed that they're angels, it's, it's very surprising to the people that find that out. And we're going to look at one later on this week. But what you need to know about that is this. We should be cognizant, completely understanding of the spiritual realm. And we shouldn't shy away from the idea that just because we can't explain something doesn't mean that there is not a spiritual explanation for it. I think that we have to start to open up our minds a little bit about what God is doing in our life and start to say that maybe we don't see all that there is. Maybe we can't resolve everything by understanding all aspects of what has happened. And maybe, just maybe sometimes, an angel is ministering to us and we don't even know it. We're not aware of it. And we, we won't even be able to give credit for it. We have the angel stories, sure, but we don't know who around us might be an angel. And so I think it's important to treat every single interaction as uh, the writer of Hebrews says here, that be aware that when you're interacting with people, when you're dealing with them, when you're showing hospitality to people, you may very well be interacting with one of God's created beings called an angel. Now, I think that's kind of cool. I think it shows a dimension to life that we ignore a lot. But I think it's definitely encouraging for us to make sure that our behavior lines up with Christ's likeness in all areas.